Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, Merry Christmas. We're into the last week of Christmas, so I've got my stocking up. Where is it? There it is. Um, and uh, anyway, um, I've got all sorts of problems because my laptop is very literally falling apart. This is the machine on which I have recorded puzzles for the last two years and probably very lucky to have got that length of life out of it. Uh, now the screen is detaching from the keypad and I cannot believe it's still working, but thank God it is because that hopefully will enable me to get a video done today and get it out to you because we are very keen to keep getting two puzzles a day done. And um, yeah, I've ordered a new laptop. I've looked into a stack as well um, and we'll see what happens. So fingers crossed maybe santa will be kind to me although i don't think a laptop's going to fit in the stocking but anyway um going to carry on with the videos now another thing you get at christmas is some cracking the cryptic merch like this hoodie or um you could get our apps they're all on the links under the video um along with so much patreon content at the moment we've got the the puzzle pyramid going we've got um well, we just finished now on the um, Cracking the Cryptic Mexican standoff, the, no, the December reward. The Puzzle Pyramid is just a pre-Christmas fun thing for everybody to have a go at. Um, Simon has put up a crossword video. I've done a crossword video this week. Simon's is a much more approachable puzzle, although not actually simple either. We've also got um, the Jovial Negativity Solve on Patreon. And I mean, just so much content there. Do think about joining us on Patreon. Treat yourself at Christmas. Um, yeah, that's, that's all happening there. Also, of course, check out Discord. Everything going on around the channel all the time. Uh, loads going on. But this puzzle is called Streaming Water by Jager. Now, I did this creek puzzle recently, which was brilliant. It really um, was clever how the odd digits formed a single body of water. Uh, and this has a similar rule. Not quite the same, but similar. So the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits joined by a white dot must be consecutive. So those two cells. Digits joined by a black dot must have a one to two ratio. It's still very hard for me to believe that we have introduced crop key rules to thousands of people who now understand them implicitly, um, but those are they. Not all dots are given. Digits do not repeat in cages, which may show their sums. So this one does 15 in three different digits. This one doesn't. So all of those are different digits in that cage, uh, but we don't know its sum. All odd digits in the puzzle are orthogonally connected, forming a single body of water. So it could look like this. Now I'm not taking care to make sure that I have five digits in every cage because I can't achieve that. Um, yeah, I mean, this would form one acceptable body of water in the terms of this puzzle. Now, what I've been careful to do is not create any two by two squares because they're not allowed. So you can't have four odd digits. This, for instance, couldn't be a water cell in this creek because uh, two by two squares of water are not allowed. So um, the odd digits will form a body of water like that. Now, last time I got in trouble because people really resented the idea that I was doing water in orange. So I will try and do water in blue and even digits in some other color that's not blue. I'm so used to doing even in blue, that may be difficult. I've also got this problem with the keypad is now at an angle to my screen. So that's going to excuse any mistyping, if you'll allow. Anyway, do, do give this a try. It's by Jager. I think it's a debut on the channel for Jager. And we are delighted that they have sent us this puzzle. Do give it a try on the link under the video. You can judge from the length of the video how hard it is. I'm going to start now, so let's get cracking. And let's get cracking with black crop key dots in sequences because um, given the nature of the numbers from 1 to 9, these have to be either 1, 2, 4 or 2, 4, 8 running forwards or backwards. There is no other way to double up numbers twice in a row. And that's going to apply here and here and here. So the central digit 
is always going to be 2 and 4. That you will identify is always going to be even, not blue. Let's go yellow for a sort of sandy color around the creek. Um, and, and what does this mean? So it's always going to be surrounded by 1 and 4 or 2 and 8, these black dots. But those could include an even number. Or they will include an even number. They could include an odd number or a second even number. Um, <clears throat> okay, right. Here's a thought. Yes, this is nice. Right, a 15 cage, is an, that's an odd number in three cells. Now, what do we know about making up an odd number using three digits? Well, we do know something. We know that that's either going to use two even digits or no even digits. If you think about how if you add two digits of the same parity together, you always get an even number. And then you'll need an odd number after that. So it's either two odd digits plus an odd number or two even digits plus an odd number. So the number of even digits in this is even. It's naught or two. And how would it be two? That's quite interesting. Because remember, this group of cells has to contain two and four. Oh, that's absolutely blindingly brilliant. Look, this is brilliant. These cells must contain two and four. They have to. That's, they're either one, two, four, or they're two, four, eight. They must contain two or four. Now, keep those other numbers in mind. If this did have two even digits, therefore, it would have to be six and eight. Now, the only way to make up the 15 sum with 6 and 8 is 8, 6, 1. And that uses 8 and 1 and makes these impossible. So that's not how you do it. This must be all odd numbers, which we're going to make blue because it's a creek in this puzzle. Um, and I think that's going to apply in this column and this row and this column. I don't see why not. They're all the same from this point of view. So those are all even. These groups of cells always contain two and four. Let's actually just pencil mark those in for now. Oh, that, that was meant to be um, odd as well. I don't know if I just used even wrongly once. But anyway, these are three odd numbers. Now, Three odd numbers, which selecting from a population of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, which add up to 25. So we have to take two odds out of that that add up to 10. And that can either be 1 and 9 or 3 and 7. So these groups of cells always have a 5 in. Um, I was trying to do that in all of them. So they're either 5, 1, 9 or 5, 3, 7. OK, if we've got a 5 there in the top row, we don't have one here. If we've got one there in the first column, we don't have one here. If we've got one there in the final row, we don't have one here. And if we've got one here, we don't have one there. So we've now confined five in the corner boxes to little two-cell dominoes. I don't know if that's actually very helpful, but it's true. What then? What about these white dots? If Ah, if this is 1 2 4, that's 3 5 7. This would have to be an 8 9 combination. That's quite interesting. Right, there's okay, here's here's my point now. Yeah, there's got to be an even number on each white dot because the consecutive numbers will have one even and one odd. That's a must. So if this was 2, 4, 8, then there's a 6 on here and it can't be with a 5, so it would be 6, 7. And if this is 1, 2, 4, this has to be 3, 5, 7. And this is 8, 9. So these are always 6, 7 or 8, 9. This one's odd. Um, so this one's even. That must be right. In fact, actually, I'm sorry, I could have done that as soon as odd is connected to a different cell. 
by a consecutive dot. It's even. That's not happening here. We don't get a white dot. So, is this always six or eight? Yes, it is, because we've got two and four. Oh, this is the simpler way of seeing it. Oh, come on. Two and four are used in the column and in the row and in the row and in the column. So, the one that is connecting down here and is now obviously even is six or eight. So, that is never connecting to five because they're not in the corners. So, these ones are always seven or nine. And it doesn't work as well up here, but never mind. We've got seven, nine, and seven, or nine, seven, and nine in those cells. Do we know what's happening here? I don't think we necessarily do. If that's a seven, this is one, five, nine, but that's a seven and it's not constraining them. Okay. Right. That doesn't tell us enough. Um, so these are from 135 now. They must have the lower num the lower odd number and five in. <clears throat> so what then? I'm not really using the creek rule yet. I don't see how I don't see how I can use it at all at the moment. These threes can get out either like that or like that or out here or there's just too much optionality on that. So that's not interesting. Oh, I've got a seven nine pair now. So if this is two four eight, that's six. This would be odd. But if that's one two four, then that's three five seven, that's nine, and this would be even. Oh, that's not very deterministic. Um, that's not the right use of the word deterministic, but never mind. Oh, okay. I'm not quite sure what I meant to be looking at next. I don't think these... They're eight cell cages. They're not nine, as I thought at first. They're eight cell cages, so they're all missing one digit. But we don't get any clues which digit. Okay, so we need to... I reckon we need to work out Maybe we can work out if these are nines or sevens. So if that's a nine, then we've got one five here. We've got an eight here. We go four, two, one. This is the most constrained way. This is the hardest for it to be is nines in both corners. Then we get eights here. Oh, that's lovely. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. That is absolutely brilliant. Right. I've got it now. That's fantastic. That's so mad. So, um, what did I call it the other day? I don't know. Mad. I used a, a noun wrongly. It's the madness of Sudoku. Anyway, this is lovely. Right. Now, let don't forget what I'm trying to think about. The point is that there's, if these were nines, then there are ones in these dominoes. That's how it works. Now, there's also an eight here. If there's an eight in these cells, these black cells must be one, two, four. But remember, there's ones in both of those. So these two cells can't be ones. They're in the same boxes. So they would both have to be fours. We're all right so far. They would both have to be twos. We're all right so far. They would both have to be ones, and suddenly we explode in a shower of confetti, because that fails. So the reason I'm saying this can't... If these were nines, and remember, they have to be the same thing, because they look through this cell. If that's a nine, that's a seven, then that's a nine. So these two are the same. If they were nines, this isn't going to work, because you'd get eight here. Let me just actually pens write it in so you can see it, and just in case... I'm not making myself clear, which often happens. If they're nines, on the white dot we get eights. We now know this has to be a one, two, four, because it can't be two, four, eight. So we get a two in the middle. Now this cell cannot be one in either case, because we now know this is a nine, five, one cage. So these cells can't be ones. They would have to be fours. These would both have to be ones, and that is not allowed. And that is absolutely brilliant. So 
that's telling us that these corners, top left and bottom right, cannot be nines. They have to be sevens. This one is a nine. This is getting a nine, five, one, triple. These are nine, sorry, seven, five, three triples instead, um, which are less helpful. But let's start using the nine, one, five down here, because now there's no one in this group. This is two, four, eight, and they're all jolly old even. So two, eight pair on the outside, four in the middle. Um, I'm in the wrong mode, four in the middle. Let's get rid of the corner marks. This becomes a six, which is fine, joining onto the seven. Um, this becomes a three, I believe. That doesn't fix anything up here. It's okay from the creek rule. Has it done anything else? Yes, this becomes an eight. This again is, oh no, not again. This is different. This now doesn't have an eight in it. This is one, two, four. So we get a two there with a one four pair around it. We can't color them, but we know this is a six and we can color that yellow sandy color. Now we still don't know what that is as far as I know. Can we use this again in some way? I don't see why it couldn't be two or eight because this isn't, con this isn't constrained by this box. Sorry, I'm highlighting the wrong cells, but you know what I mean? Um, ah, this is now, doesn't have a seven in it. So it is a one, five, nine group. And that means one is not on this group. So that's a two, four, eight group. Yes, so we are carrying on. Um, that's two, eight pair. We get to color them yellow, blue there for the odd digit, which is actually a three. And now look, we've got threes here and fours here in a sort of double X wing. And that means three and four in the central box have to be in this central cage, which doesn't butter my parsnips, but it's true again. Oh, that two eight pair means that's a six. This, I still don't know. That could be one, two, four, and you get nine and a six, eight pair. Or if it's two, four, eight, ooh, these are from one, nine, six in some order. That would have to be a six. Ah, got one, five, nine. Oh, look at this. This sees one, five, nine there, two, four in that group, and seven, three down here. So that is six or eight and is definitely even but it could be six and that could be two, four, eight. And I don't know quite what to do with that. Um, got three or four here. We've also got a two, eight pair. So of these four cells, one of them will be six. No, not necessarily true. They could all be odd and six could be in those two at least. Ah, one five pair, sorry. That makes that a four and that a one, and we know their colors. Um, I'm doing okay on remembering that yellow is even in this puzzle and blue is a creek. R creek, that has to be odd to allow this one to get out. So that, remember the creek, the, the blue cells must all join together orthogonally. I don't know what number it is, but it has to be odd. Now, down here, Four eight nine one five. There's a six in one of those two cells. Ah, oh, well now this is yellow. Let's think about how this gets out. Actually, this might be interesting. It could come out with two blue cells there, or two blue cells there. It can't have two blue cells there because that would form a two by two. And it can't have two blue cells there because the two yellow cells here would block in that bit of creek. So, oh, what about a Battenberg? Can it have two blue cells there? No, because this area would get blocked in by two yellows there. Um, could those both be blue? Actually, they could. So I'm not sure what I've learned there. I think... 
these can't both be yellow and they can't both be blue. So they're different. That's one of each. So I'm going to use orange as a domino showing one odd and one even. And that must be the same to make up the numbers. I'm using purple this time to distinguish it from that one. But Now down here we've got 9, 8, 4, 1 and 5. 6 has to be there. These are from 2, 3, 7. I don't think the same structure applies here because of the escapeness of this three. The, the creek could get out this way. So let me just think about one of these is a six. But the other one could be a two. You could have two yellows there and two blues there and that's fine. Could you? It doesn't affect this, yeah. Um, well, you can't have two blues here, but you could have two yellows here because of the way the three is an escape. Two blues here is possible. Hmm, sorry, I'm just wondering. I'm missing something here. I could well be. I'm just not sure. They can't both be blue. That's right. Ah, yeah. The These two can't. Oh, they could be blue. Those could be yellow and it wouldn't lock anything in. Those could be yellow, those could be yellow. I, I don't think this is as useful a 2x2 a two two area. What about this one? Well, we don't know what that is. Mm, okay, I haven't really broken through properly yet. I've got some numbers in the grid, and that's nice. But no, we're not, we're not home and dry at all. Um, very wet indeed in this creek. Right, so four is in one of those two cells just by Sudoku. Maybe I need to look for some ordinary Sudoku stuff to get going. Oh, okay, this can't be a one. If this was one, two, four. Oh, that can't be a one because of that cell. And this can't be a one because of that group. So this is not a one, two, four group. There we go. This is two, four, eight. So this cell is a six. Those are yellow. That's blue. This indeed is one or nine. We don't know which, but that's not a four now. Four is in one of those two. Oh, sixes are interesting. Where are sixes going to go? We're going to get a six in one of those three cells, which is going to be in one of these central cages. We're going to get one here. Oh, look, yes. Oh, this is fascinating. Oh, hang on. We've got four sixes in the puzzle already, which is quite a lot. But look at the places they're ruling six out of. In the so in the okay, start with let's start with the idea. We've got four sixes in the perimeter. These this central seven by seven square needs another five sixes in it because there are nine sixes in a Sudoku. Now look at the cells that these perimeter sixes are saying can't be six. All of these, and those, and that, and that, and those. All of these can be six, the remaining ones I've got. <laughs> That's beautiful. Three of them, at a I've got to put five more sixes in this area. Let's just colour it green. I've got to put five more sixes. I don't know why that's still coloured, sorry. Five more sixes in this green area. Well, 
a maximum of three of them can go in these three cages. That's fine. You can put three sixes in those. But now, okay, so I'm going to do that, definitely, because I've got to squeeze five sixes in. So I'm going to put three of them in, in the cages in the middle. Now I've got to put two more sixes, and obviously only one can go in row eight, and one has to go there. That is fantastic. That's absolutely blinking brilliant. Right. I don't know. It could be here. There is a six along here. It's not there, actually, now. So let's... Um, we'll just go back to normal colouring. There is going to be a six somewhere in these cells. And I don't know which one. I'm going to leave them coloured green because it's such an odd combo. Now, there's also going to be a six in each cage. And this cage has suddenly got quite difficult, hasn't it? I suppose it can't have a six anywhere in the middle box. So it's got a six in one of those two cells. And this is now not a six. Um, one of these two in the central column is a six. Now, this cage can't have one there or anywhere here. This six, oh, the only six in this sort of inverted comma shaped cage is going to be here. So that is a six. So this one isn't. And we know where the green six is that we were looking for. It's here. And we'll make it yellow and make it a six. This is not a six. So the six in the central box is now here. These can't be sixes. Um, and this is a six. That's the last one in the puzzle. So let's colour them yellow. And those are our sixes. That is a fantastic way of working that out. That's such a clever bit of logic. Now, are there any other numbers that we can... Well, we've used up this cell. So if there are any other numbers that we know we need three more of in this area, we know there's one in each cage. That, that might be useful. What about fours? We've got a lot of fours highlighted. We're going to get one there in the central shape. Um, it's not so useful. Those sixes were in great positions because they they took them out of the the rows two eight columns two eight. Maybe it's only sixes that were really helpful in that way. That's so surprising. Ah, oh, it's weird though, isn't it? Um, right now down here, does that affect? Yeah, these can't both be blue, so that's not yellow. That's now blue. And it's not two. So two is in these cells. Um, but still, I could make that yellow. Ah, could I? I tell you what, I couldn't. I'll show you why. If that was yellow, so that this was blue... Now, how are we going to get blue out of this area without forming a two by two? No way of doing it. So it's not that way round. It's the other way around. That's blue. That's yellow. Therefore, the yellow one is the two and the other one is not. We've got a three, seven pair now. So that's five or nine. Two is the even digit in orange up here. Oh, yeah, that's made. Sorry, it's made this eight, two sorted. Uh, that fixes that 8, 2 at the bottom. Let's not disdain numbers that we can get. Um, now, there is a 2 in the orange. That's what I was saying, along with 1 or 9. There must be a 4 in the purple, because that needs an, or an even digit. These must all be blue, because we've used up... Yeah, and these two are yellow. They are four and eight. In fact, we know the order because we've got a four in row four already. That's not where four goes. We now know where four goes in the central box. Oh, this is so clever. Um, right, now, does this... This box, I was about to say it doesn't have a four in it, but actually that, that purple cell can be a four. Now, what are we doing for fours? We're missing the boxes here. Yeah, I'm just going to highlight where we know we've got fours at the moment. 
So where else? We've, we've got fours in columns one, two, four, five, six, and nine. We're still going to place them in seven and eight. One of them there. There's going to be one up here and one there. I suppose, yeah, I'm not sure I can use these central shapes for that sort of thing because they could all be missing a four. Until I can find what they're missing, I don't know what to put in them. I'm not sure if I'm making myself clear. But sixes were really good because I could work out that three sixes had to go in the shapes. With the other digits, I don't know what the shapes have to contain. So I may have to just back off on that line of thinking a bit. Okay, but we've got to this point, and this look this feels like real progress to me. Um, so I want to say that might be a four. Okay, this blue area of creek has to get out here. So that's odd. Oh yeah, we need to think about the creek. This creek needs to get out. So it's got to get out now definitely in two blue heading across. Either there we have one and nine, or there. I don't know if I know which. Um, right, this sees two, four, six, and eight, so that's blue. So, oh, look, in the central column we've got two, six, four, and eight, so they're all blue. Oh, this this may be something I haven't been thinking about. This cannot be blue now because we'd form a two by two. So that's yellow and is the two. That's blue. Yeah, this is going now. That's yellow because otherwise we'd form a two by two. So that yellow is an eight. Now we've got two, four, six, and eight in row six. And we get blues and we haven't broken the rule yet. This can't be blue because it would be a two by two. So that is a yellow eight. Four is down there somewhere, so that's blue. Um, four, six, eight, there's a two, and it's not in those cells in column six, so they're blue. Ooh, I thought I'd formed a two by two, but I haven't. Uh, one of these is a two. Okay, I'll think about the cages in a moment, but I'm quite enjoying making some progress on the creek now. This would form a two by two, so that's yellow. Do we know the number? No, actually we don't. Four or eight. Have we still we still haven't resolved the two and eight there? Um, this doesn't have to be blue. Four, six, eight. One of those is yellow. Now these obviously they're not all blue, that's fine. Um there's not many yellows to put in. Oh, did I? No, I don't know. I don't know, sorry. I was wondering if I, it was obvious which of these was a blue pair and which was a yellow, but I'm not sure it is yet. It might be obvious to you, but I'm not seeing it. Um, so I will carry on my merry way. Now, come on, how, how are we carrying this on? One of these is a two. That's quite interesting. Oh, this creek, does that need... No, they can't both be blue. That one is, one is yellow. If that was yellow... No, it could be either of them. I can't see the obvious way of fixing this yet. Four, eight, six, and two. So this is blue. Wow, I mean... I'm missing some... Okay, let's look at this inverted comma thing and how many yellows it's got. It, it can have two more yellows, which could be both here. Ah! But if that was the case, remember, yellows go together either here or here so that the blues can get out. If those two were yellow, 
that would also be yellow and that would give us five yellows in row three. So those two aren't both yellow. And all I've proved there is that one of them isn't yellow and therefore this cage is missing an even number. I still don't know if those are both yellow. So this cage is missing either four or eight. One of these is odd. That's not actually helpful. What about this cage? Ah. Um, oh, I was about to say, how can this cage have a four in it? But it could have one in the cell I'm in there. It can't have one here or or here, or here, or there. But it can have one there, and the only place it can have a two is there. Oh, do I know? Do I know how many odd digits ought to be in this? How many evens, maybe, ought to be in this central region? Ah, oh, okay, well, six, four, and eight are in this middle cage. And that's the only place for two. The only place for two in the right-hand cage is here. So this is missing, one of these two cages is missing a two. This is missing an even number as well. Oh, I'm really, I can't quite get my head around this. Can this cage have an 8 in? Not there, there, or there. It would have to be in one of these two positions, making this a 4. I just, I don't know. I'm looking at the wrong cells, aren't I? Sorry, I don't, it's a very clever puzzle. It's really making you think weird thoughts all the time. One, four, and nine in these cells. That one can't be the four, because it's odd. Um, this cage. If that was even, or is it the creek? Is the creek having a problem somewhere? If the creek came out there, then the fifth cell in this that was odd would be there. So you could have those three highlighted cells as odd. Now the alternative is the creek comes out here. Now it would have to be here because otherwise you'd have too many cells. Now is that's not possible, right. Right, they can't all be odd because you'd have six odds in row two. They can't be odd with that being odd because you'd get a creek bit stuck in the left hand in box one. Right, so those are the odd ones. There we go. Those are odd, those two are even. This has to be yellow to stop a blue two by two. That has to be blue. So we know where eight is, it's not here, it's in the even cell. We can surely finish off the even cells now. Two there, eight there. These ones are two and four, which can't be in those cells. That becomes an eight. So eight is missing from this cage. Um, so four can't be missing from it, therefore, because you can only have one number missing from an eight digit cage. So that's four and yellow. These are blue. This creek is working fine. This is not four. So four, not four. Try and not put four in it when your brain says not four. So this is four and yellow. This is blue. Now this creek bit has to get out. So that's blue. Um, We've just got one two to put in, which can't be in those cells. They're blue. It must be here. That's a two, and that's a two. And let's just have a look at this creek and make sure it's working. 
I think it is. The Blue Creek doesn't have any 2x2 two two pools and it does all connect up and that's what it is. So we've got all our even digits in and now we're just doing odds. Um, I love this puzzle. It is so clever. Uh, that's a 3-7 pair. These are from 159, so that's a 3-7 pair. How are we ever going to disambiguate these? Um, we will find out. Well, they're in the cage. So the cage is 3, 7, 4, 6, 2, 1, 5, and 9. So that must be a 5 up here. That's 1 or 9. That 5 does the 3, 5 pair, which does the 3, 7 pair. Now, so this cage is done. I mean, we'll sort out the two remaining pairs in it. This cage doesn't have a two. Six, four, and eight are done. Ooh, it's tricky, actually. Don't know. This one, whatever this digit is, is there in this cage. So that's one or five. These include three and seven. This is a 179 triple, obviously. That is not actually helpful. I don't know here. This sees a 19 pair and it sees three in the cage, in the box. So that's five or seven. This cage has a three in one of those. Oh, that five or seven can't be in the rest of the cage. So that's the same as this. So it must be a five. Wow, and that was the same as this, because that's the cell that couldn't be in this cage in column three. So they're all fives, and that is very helpful, I'm sure. We get a one here. We get nine one up there. This becomes a five. That's a five. That's not. Come on, we've, how are we doing on fives? Three and five there. Let's just highlight the fives. We need one more. That's it. And this one's not a five. Right, so that's fives done. Now we still haven't used the thermo. We've got one... Oh no, that could be three. One three there. This is a three seven nine triple. These are from one seven nine, and that's a triple, so this is a three. Oh yes, that was getting this three here, wasn't it? So how are we doing for threes now? We've got the top three boxes and the bottom three boxes. Yeah, okay, that doesn't really resolve the middle bit. Um, right, five here, and we've got one, three, seven, nine to put in the middle cage. So these are from one, seven, or nine. That one, obviously, on the bulb can't be a nine. still don't really know how to go about finishing this off. This is so clever. Okay, those are the same digit. That doesn't help. Not at all. It was all about the shape of this cage. Five. But I think I've done everything I can with the shape of that cage. Three, seven, or nine there on the thermo tail. How does this resolve now? Eight, five, one. That that cage is done. This cage is done. It's, it's literally all coming down to this thermo, and I do not see how it works. Obviously, if that's a seven. Then we go seven, nine, one. And we also would then have, okay, if that's a seven, we get a one here, we get a one here. This becomes one, that becomes one.
Yeah, I don't think anything breaks particularly. So that could be a seven. Now, okay, how about if this is a three? Does that it doesn't feel like that's very powerful at all because you're still left with an X wing on threes in those two cells. Oh, come on. What? I'm not missing a rule or something. What am I missing now? Surely it is about one of those being a one. This is one, three, seven, or nine. I'm just completing my candidate marks. Um, oh, that is seeing a one. There we go. It's just ordinary Sudoku. Sorry. Nine, one, nine, one. Now that does become a seven. Ah. Seven there, nine on the thermo tail. That's a three. This surely is going to help now. Seven, nine, that becomes a one. That's a three. That fixes the seven, three pair and the seven, nine pair and the bits I was most worried about. Now, this becomes a nine. Yes, we are going to finish one and seven here and one triple left of nine, one, seven. What a clever puzzle that is. Really good. Excellent stuff from Jager there. Really interesting. A totally different Creek puzzle from the last one. And uh, absolutely genius in its way. Thank you, as always, for watching us on Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful festive period. Hope to see you soon again on the channel if you have the time to watch us. And uh, bye for now.